that you had the Jogon part three. I know I've been going on about adding like backstory to it. I'll try to fit that into one video next time I do a what if. But yeah, this one we're gonna start this off. Where are they going to UA? It's two months to UA and people already know that Deku's really strong and Ida was already nominated to go to UA because of his brother and stuff like that. I just had to check the time. And stuff, so yeah. Nobody really nobody laughs at him because he knows he has a cork and he's already really smart and all that. And yeah, too much of training. What I'm gonna say is that Deku the sledge villain just happened in the same area that Deku is. And they walking and they walk over the huge pipe. Which I'm gonna say Deku already felt the person coming and he like he talked Ida acting like he took his phone out or something, saying, here, look at this, giving this, showing up an orb, saying, like, that tells Ida that, that there's something about to happen, so I'm gonna say Ida kind of just, like, um, says, let's race, and that's when the sludge villain says, hold on, kids, let me take your body. With Ida turn around kicking the sludge villain with such a and because he's so much stronger, with such a hard kick strong enough to pretty much blast the sludge villain pretty far back, but not like completely pop it. And the sludge villain's like, ha, oh, you must have noticed me. Because that's what you are talking about, kid looking at Deku. And that's whenever he sees this weird orb in Deku's hand, and he's like, what is that supposed to do? And that's when for Deku asks him what his quirk is. And I'm going to say the Sludge Villain quirk is a, is a transformation in this one. And he says, goody, turning his thing into a, a katana, or like a kindlestick. Yeah, a kindlestick katana. And he smacks the Sludge Villain turning off their cork and pretty much stopping them from using it and that's whenever um I'm gonna say Deku punches him in the face in this human body knocking him out and after shortly after that he starts turning into sludge again anyway I forgot to say also meaning corks also get worked by the thing also but, I'm going to say it, like, paralyzes them. Or, like, stops the cork. Because, technically, Ida's cork is a, um, a mutant-type cork. I'm just going to say it does the same thing in effect as the transformation. It turns them back to a human. But, yeah. Or, like, a regular person. So, yeah. And that's when we're on my says... I am here. And he says, Oh, you must have handled the sludge villain already. And he asks who they are. And I'm going to say, I'm like Nozogenium because they are a hero family. And, and he, and he's, and Deku introduced himself. And he says, Good job, Ida, for taking down the villain. And that's when he says, no, I didn't really take down the villain. He said it was my friend because he noticed the villain whenever he walked by. I just, he's the one that actually took it down. Which I'm gonna say, this is whenever All Might sees the Kindle stick in his, on his hand that is pretty much pitch black and it disappears into an orb. Which I never told you guys this, but um, Deku does have orbs floating around him, but what well, I'm gonna say, whenever he's at school, um, he kind of, like, puts them in his bag as, like, books, I'm gonna say. And, I'm gonna say some people ask him why he has black books, and that's whenever he would do something about saying, It is the death note, and stuff like that. And they'd be like, stop it. <laughs> of course, it's not an anime book and all that. We're not like we live in an anime or something. 
and that's where Deku turns to the screen and says, Why does everybody don't know that we're living in the anime? And he walks up to the screen and he says, You look at this katana right here. He's turning the book into a katana. While you look behind Deku, seeing another Deku, just frozen there. And you see words pop up above him. He's talking about, you should, you should slap one of them. <laughs> no, you should give them a wedgie. <laughs> and that stops pretty much. But yeah. But yeah, that's how he disguises his things. And he already knows that he has those orbs. So he, whenever the training, he does float them around him. And they can still not kill people instantly, I'm gonna say. And he uses them as defense sometimes against Ida. When he doesn't feel like actually defending or like he doesn't pay attention. And stuff like that. But yeah. So, I might congratulate Deku and ask what that cork was. And he says that um, my cork is really complicated. Explains part of it, just the eye and the black orbs. Not really telling him about jutsu and stuff like that. And he says, "Hope you guys will come." Um, and he jumps off, of course. But I'm gonna say, Ada has so much control over his quirk. He can actually do parkour skills instead of making him like run in a straight line and stuff. So he kind of like mastered his like movements and stuff. So that's when our Deku jumps off, of course, with like ninja jump, pretty much. And that's when we see Ida do parkour up a building and start running and jumping over buildings. Wow. Um, you know, Deku is Naruto running, pretty much. But yeah, they catch up with him and they ask, could we come? Um, um, asked All Might for an autograph because he didn't give him them. That's when All Might turns into poof, into you know, dust and all that, <laughs> into Small Might. And he explains what happened to him. And if you guys are wondering if I'm gonna eat a, the cork, I'm probably not. I'm not at all. I, I, I might give it to somebody else. Um, let me think. Who should I give it to, actually? Yeah. And I don't know who should I give it to. I might give it to somebody different, but there's not a lot of people that I know about. And stuff like that. But yeah, they do 10 months of training. And... There's no way to really say because they don't know Bakugo and Bakugo somewhere else. But yeah. There's no like a sludge villain attack because I'm gonna say Deku knows it's a sludge villain moving down there. And that's where All Might sees a black six black orbs appear turning into a spear. And him chucking it really far and hitting something. And that's where All Might says, where did you throw that? And Edith says that he must have, um, after, and that's where, um, All Might knows that the sludge villain's gone. That's where Deku says that I just hit the sludge villain. And that's Ida, whenever Ida says that he has, like, a strong sensory ability. And his eyes also, when he's seeing 30, or 360 degree. And all that. So he runs off and they run off and they show him this dude that's gonna cover this that's turning into slime slowly. And so all might takes him in and goes to the special police station after he rests up. Ten months of training. Just like training for all of them, nothing really special. But yeah, they go to the entrance exam. And they're put together. And so, and he is not that, um, like, tight and all that. So, yeah, he is chill more. Oops, so he doesn't just, like, call out their mistake. But it wasn't a mistake. They did, didn't get to it yet. And stuff like that. 
So they go to the fields. They have different fields, so I'm going to say, um, eat, um, eat us with Bakugou's area. I'm just going to say that. And Deku's part of Uraraka's area, like the original. But the matches start, or the whole thing starts. And Deku runs and jumps in front of everybody. And he starts running fast. And because they are robots, so he goes full, he uses the orbs at their fullest potential. And he, people see, um, these orb, this orb turn into a staff. And the other orbs turn into a knife, pretty much. But, like, is this the dude's court, but he's really fast. And that's where they go flying around, hitting these robots. And I'm also saying he doesn't like frighten anybody, so he doesn't disintegrate them. He, like, destroys them, pretty much. And stuff. So he's racking up points. And that's whenever he says, I can do this probably quicker. And he says, an area where there's no nobody there, he says, Fire Majestic Destroyer Jutsu, destroying a whole bunch of robots. And people are amazed because he seems like he has a lot of quirks. And that last attack was really hot. And stuff like that. Wait, I'm really bad at memorize. <laughs> or, yeah. And that's whenever he has, like, 200 points. Apparently, Rocky only had 80 points. I've been saying that he had 100, but it's 80, 85, something like that. But he gets 200 points. Like who does, that's when he sees Uraraka. But what he does is that people see him, um, say, activate his eyes completely using, like, a warp appearing in front of him. And that's when we say, hear him say, Giant Rasengan, the huge ball of energy appearing, slamming into the wrist of um, the robot, destroying completely. And yeah. Um, he completely destroyed the Zero robot with it. And yeah. Wait, <laughs> Oh, I didn't go over what he said. Yeah, the giant was saying on. And yeah, he gets uh, another 80 points, 280. He gets first place, and I'm, I'm all due over the fitness exam. So the fitness exam happened, and yeah, that happened. Deku murked everybody. They're all dead, shots fired. Oh no. But no, 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 not actually. So. In this one, or, yeah, they get in, Uraraka thinks some stuff, and he sits next to Ida, which Ida's not in, like, the very front, or he's not even in the very back, he's just, like, in the middle seat. I think he was sitting right there anyway, but I'm gonna say Deku sits in the same spot, Ida just sits in front of him. Actually, I think that's the order, I think I memorized it. Ajiro's in the back. Yeah, I memorized it for some reason. And the sugar dude was, like, in the back. People that you barely see on screen, only a couple of them were in the back. And there are a couple of people that you did see on the screen. But, yeah. Um, yeah. And they're talking and stuff. But Bakio and Ida don't have an argument. But that's when we were. Bakio never learned about what happened to Deku. He still thinks he was just like a corkless kid and like he had to get saved by heroes from being trapped in the ground. And that's about it. And stuff like that. And yeah. He doesn't really know it's Deku because he's that type of person. Um, Ozawa walks in, tells them to get ready. They're in the changing room, they get changed, nothing really special happens because Deku's just really toned and all that. He has, like, level Jojo 
muscle, not like muscle detail, but not gigantic muscles, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. We go out, and it's the race, or the ball throw, and that's where we're finally, Bakio hears that this kid named Izuku Medugia got higher points than him, and he starts getting angry because he thought he was chosen, and he tells him to throw the ball without his quirk. And that's when he says that my quirk isn't really a strength enhancement. Or says, or throws the ball, and he, like, almost say, like, um, if he can chuck kunai's really far and headshot people, I'm gonna say a thousand meters. And that's whenever Azawa says, without his cork, he says that my cork doesn't really give a visual enhancement. At least not with this. I have to activate something to give me a physical enhancement. And, yeah. Um, and that's whenever he tells him to shoot it with his cork. And that's whenever... The mark on his um, karma seal activates, bulking him up a little more, and that's whenever you see him use lightning style Rakage's little like lightning body activate it, even gets even more buffer, and that's whenever he starts spamming buff spells where he can one shot everybody. <laughs> no, that's whenever he throws it. But that's where you see him create some kind of weapon in his hand. That's black, which is has a point, and he throws it again, like a spear, before it hits the ground. And people are focused on the spear, but they don't see Deku use like a wind style, and they see a huge collection of wind shooting the ball six thousand meters. <laughs> Everybody's the same, but I'm going to say Uda's in third place. I'm just going to say that. And everybody's the same, and that's going to be it for this video.